Lena, and today I'm going to be showing you around my dorm slash studio suite apartment at the University of British Columbia. Um, I live in Ponderosa Commons in one of their newest buildings, so I got really lucky with that. Um, I'm currently in second year, but during my first year I actually commuted, so technically this is my first year living on my own. And I just have to say it's been such a great experience. Um, as cheesy as it sounds, I feel like I've grown so much as a person and been able to find myself a little bit more as well as I was able to make a really great group of friends here. Um, so that was really great, and because I had such a great experience, I wanted to document what the room looked like, just so I had something to kind of look back on and remember. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but I never really got around to it. I mean, I'm moving out next week, um, so that should tell you how much of a procrastinator I am. But anyway, without making this intro any longer, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the room tour. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the washroom, which is just right by the entrance over here. Um, and I'm honestly so glad that I have my own washroom in this place. Um, but here's kind of what it looks like. If the lighting adjusts, there we go. Um, I bought this blue fluffy rug to step out of when I get out of the shower. And there wasn't a lot of places to put my stuff in here, so I just bought this like shower shelf thing that you hang from the shower head and it's been super useful. Um, but that's what the shower looks like. And then over here is my counter area. I don't really like to keep a whole bunch of things on top of it. So I keep most of my things just kind of underneath here in these cabinets. Um, I guess I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. It's pretty spacious, but I had to buy a lot of shelving to put my stuff in. Um, this is kind of where I keep my makeup things and then hair stuff over here. Um, so that's what it looks like. I guess I'll show you like a bigger overview of the washroom. I'm literally in the shower right now, oh my god. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just what it looks like. Um, and then there's an extra hook over here, but I rarely ever use that one. I just like to use these two right there. And then as soon as you get out of the washroom, here's the kitchen. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick overview of the kitchen. Um, I mean, that's all there really is to it. Uh, over here I have two pictures of my friends on the fridge as well as my RA's card and then I bought this vacuum cleaner so I wouldn't have to be borrowing the one from the comments block all the time. But they did provide me with a broom and a, like a little mop swiffer thing back there which was kind of nice I guess. And then I have, um, I bought a rice cooker here and the place came with its own microwave which was also super nice. And then down here is where I keep my pots and pans. And then moving back up, this is kind of my pantry space. Um, I'm pretty sure it's empty. Well, not empty, like pretty empty right now. Um, but I just want to show you how big it is for one person. I mean, I rarely ever really uh, fill that top shelf up there. Um, even after I've like just gone grocery shopping. Granted, I probably couldn't reach it, but still, it's nice that it's there and it's big, nice space. Um, and then over here I have my stove and my oven. And there's this little dishwasher, which is actually more than enough for one person. And up here I have my plates and my cups and all of that. And then on the one right there I keep more containers, but I'm not going to show you that one. It just looks the exact same as this one right here. Um, and then here I keep... I keep. This is my sink. Um, I bought this little thing to put my sponges in and that is basically all there is to the kitchen. This is again what it looks like. Oh and I bought this little command hook so I could put my car keys and my volunteering lanyards and an umbrella because it rains a lot in Vancouver. Um, but yeah, let's just move on to the bedroom now. Okay, so I guess I'll just start with the bed area first. Um, this is just what it looks like. I bought that tapestry from Society6 and then I used fairy lights from Urban Outfitters to frame it. Um, and then at the foot of bed I have this little fussy blanket that my little sister got for me. Then there's this pillow that is also from Society6, so definitely go check out their stuff. And then off to the side I have my nightstand with my journal, coloring book, and other little things. Um, but that's just kind of what the bedding area looks like. Um, I made that L using pictures of my friends. It wasn't originally supposed to be an L, but I actually ran out of pictures, so that's just what it ended up looking like. Um, and then I guess I'll just go ahead and show you my closet. 
So for the closet, I bought that little shelf thing off to the right side um, just to make more space. And then I have all of my shoes are at the bottom. You can't really see, but I swear I have shoes. Um, then there's the jackets and some sweaters up at the top. But there's also a lot more clothing space just right by the bedside. I'll show you. Um, I mean, it's pretty big and it's more than enough space to get everything in. Um, it's kind of messy, but you get the gist of it. Um, so that is kind of like all the closet space that I have. Um, and I'll show you the view. I guess I'll just put the shades up and then I'll show you. So I live on the 10th floor and this is the view that I get from it. Um, you can see a lot of the other residences from here. And then you can also see... Actually, it's not really showing up on the camera, but... I'll try and zoom in and show you. You can see the mountains and the ocean from here. Um, I mean, it's not showing up as well on the camera, but you kind of get the gist of it. And then just down below, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, I'm just coming back inside the room. So in this corner is where I keep my guitar, and then down there I have my tripod and my recycling bin. Then here's the dirty clothes hamper. And just right up here, I made this little jewelry hanger thing to hang necklaces from. Um, it's basically just coins with sticky tack or whatever it's called, and then the necklaces just hang from it. And then moving on to the desk. The apartment actually came with a TV, which I was super grateful for. I just bought an HDMI cable, and then I just hooked up a lot of my Netflix to it. Then I bought a printer. That's just right here, and then here I have a calendar that I also bought just to sort my life out, basically. And then here's my laptop and my notebook, as you can tell, I'm like really into the marble theme. And then up here, I'll show you both of these two. So here I have a little cactus in a mason jar and a succulent in there. And then I have a whole bunch of books and candles here. Most of them are for class, but not all of them. And then moving on to this one over here, I have, this is where I keep a lot of like my pens and stuff. Then I have my Polaroid two candles and this little like cat thing where I just put all my rings in. Then um, there's a speaker. It's really small, but <laughs> I swear it sounds louder than it looks. Then that's where I keep a lot of my jewelry as well. And then just moving down here, I'll show you what's in there. All right, so in the first drawer, I just keep a lot of my cutlery and some Ziploc bags. It's pretty empty, but there wasn't really anything else to put in it. Then in this one, I have like all of my school supplies. So I have a calculator, all of my paper, um, pens, cue cards, all of that stuff. I had to buy like little devices to put that stuff in, uh, but it was pretty cheap, so that's fine. And then down in the last one, I just keep like all my bed sheets. Um, and I think that is probably about it. Okay, so now that I've shown you my dorm slash apartment, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the building's facilities. First is the laundry room. We just had cards that we loaded with money and used. It was on the second floor in the same building, which was really convenient. Also on the second floor, we had a gym, which was kind of small for the amount of people that lived here, but overall, if you found the right hours to go, it was usually pretty good. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is the study room. It was on the 18th floor, which was really nice because we got this panoramic view of the ocean and the mountains from up high. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the views. Um, other facilities that we had were things like music rooms with pianos and music stands in them, but I didn't really use them, so I'm not gonna go ahead and show them. We also had other study rooms, but I rarely used them because I had a view like this from here. Um, but I think that is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.